Shields up, Iron Breakers. Rick on here coming at you with another episode of the Elden Ring Blind Playthrough. And today we're gonna be Give me a second, I got a I got a call coming in. Hello? Hello? What's so what's so funny? Your face! Look at it! It's a bloody joke! <laughs> As I was saying, we're going to be exploring the um the mountaintops of the giants. Uh we are in the same place that we were um when we left la when we left last time. So I'm going to be exploring in this general direction. And yes, I trimmed my beard, okay? I trimmed my beard, and I trimmed my hair, and whatever. All right? All right? Y'all good? Good. Anyway, continuing onwards. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we can find up here. Where are we in the map right now? Oh, we're up here. Okay. So, something tells me there's not going to be a whole lot. Oh, there's actually a vendor. Nice. Let's see what uh, what he's selling. Hello there. What are you selling? There. Yes. Customer. Yes. Well, how long has it been? Okay. Oh, he's got the Vagabond Knight Armor, but we could already... Couldn't we already buy this? Oh, no, not the Vagabond. The one that we have is a different one. But we do have, like, a blue armor that we can buy uh, over in Round Table Hold. Okay. Oh, he's also got a Missionary's Cookbook. Rejuvenating Bolusus. What do those do again? Rejuvenating... Alleviates death blight buildup. Yeah, that would be rejuvenating. It'll alleviate- it prevents death! What does this one do? It prevents you dying. Okay, so that's the, um, the side of Lost Grace that we got when we first got here. I'm still a little bit mad over the fact that I didn't get to talk to that one character back in Volcano Manor. That's actually one of the disadvantages of playing, uh, of like having to record every time you play, because like I ran into that character organically when I was exploring whilst not recording, but I was like, well, I can't talk to this character if I don't record it. What in the hell? There's a necromancer around here. Can I even kill this thing? I mean, I saw an energy bar the first couple of times I attacked it, but I don't see one now. Oh, it's about to die. Down you go, you ugly skeleton. Well, it's dead now. There's one of those things that's got like lunar shards down there. 
starlight shards. Whatever. I should potentially get to the, um... The place with the starboard tele... Not starboard. Bird's eye telescope. That could possibly be useful. Okay, we're not gonna be fighting all of these. mausoleum nearby and the castle with one of those Nargakuga wannabes the beast eye quivering means that there is one of those who lives in death around here and I wonder where that bastard's hiding these snails. They're annoying. Now, the one who lives in death should be close by because of the summons. But where? Interesting, there's a summoning stake here. That could potentially mean that he's close by. Stake of Marika here. Crap, not a bird. This bird deals so much damage. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow, ow. Please stop. I'm about to get freaking frostbitten. Yep, there it is. Didn't expect the goddamn death bird of all things. Thank you. Problem is that I don't have a thing here to reset so that we can get back to fighting the bird. So the bird's not going to be there now that we resurrect. Which kind of sucks, but tell you what. We will mark this place. Now I know that there's an enemy there. Oh, this is a special bird!
Bye, Tweety. He hit like a goddamn truck. Death Ritual Spear. This almost looks like the sword we got, like, in Sekiro. Spear called Ritual. Ritual spear used by the priests of old who were permitted to come among the death birds. The priests who became guardians of the birds through the rite of death, which also serves as an oath sworn to their distant resurrection. Thrust the spear high, bearing prayers into the sky to summon a downpour of spectral spears. This actually sounds really powerful. Um... Damn, we got a lot of souls for that, too. Is this what was causing these... No, it, it couldn't have been, because we would have gotten, like, a, a piece of death to take back to Gurank. Or so I would assume. Starlight shards. Wait. There's more markings of, um... There's more death markings around here. I don't think that he was the one who was causing those skeletons to appear. Which means I still have some looking to do. Yep. Where's the tibia mariner? There you are. Why are you running? Elfen Steeple, and let me guess, Death Root. Yep. Dude, we're just getting like a bunch of cool weapons all of a sudden. Ruinous Ghost Flame. Greatsword pattern after the Black Steeple of the Elfen, the lampwood which guides the dead to the spirit world. The lamplight is similar to Grace in appearance. Only it is said that it can only be seen by those who met their death in battle. Ruinous Ghost Flame. Swing the sword to bathe its blade in Ghost Flame. The Ghost Flame adds magic damage to attacks and also has a bitterly cold bite. <clears throat> that is stylish as hell. It's like some of the best weapons I feel like have been saved for the very ending of the game. This is definitely going to be one that you'll want to new do New Game Plus in and whatnot. Even though my next playthrough is probably going to end up being on PlayStation 5, which means it'll be regular game. They got marionette deploy things here as well. Lots of undead. Is 
There is a tower up here. Can I get to it though? Can't open my map? Okay. Uh, let's take a look. Potentially if I- let's get to the bird's eye. Bird's eye is actually close by. And there's a side of grace down there. That looks like a boss arena. So I think the bird's eye should be around here. Yep. There's a summoning stake here. Which again would reinforce my theory that this is a boss arena. I believe that there was also, yeah, there's a side of grace nearby as well. Which will let us level up. Alright. What's going on here? What's going on here? Huh? Let's check it. Let's check it and see. Split that vigor up to 55. I'm going to take vigor all the way up to 60, dude. And I still feel like a weakling. Uh, let's go ahead and pop this bad boy up. Wait, so that's the second path. Oh, wow. That's probably the big flame that, they're t that they were talking about. I don't think that if I go that way, I'll be able to climb. But if I go down this way, I should be able to. But again, something tells me that there's a boss there. Well, let's find out. It's a summoning area. There's no stake of Marika, but you don't need a stake of Marika. Dude, you can barely see this one. Bonk! Ash of War Seppuku. I've heard so much about this Ash of War. This is supposedly one of the most OP things in the game, I expect. Because everybody's ranting and raving about, oh my god, Seppuku for the bleeds, ba 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 ba. This Ash of War grants an armament of the blood affinity and the following skills Seppuku, forbidden technique used by swordsmen from the land of reeds. Plunge the blade into your stomach. The stain it with blood increases attack power and improves the ability to inflict blood loss. Usable of sword as well as pole arms. Imagine jabbing yourself with a pole arm. Does not seem particularly reasonable personally, but you know, that's just me. It's kind of didn't the Chicago had like a similar effect? You could you would turn I mean, Chicago is different though, because Chicago Um You'd be able to use it to deal additional damage, but you would also take damage. Uh-oh. It has begun. Where's the boss fight? I know there's a boss fight here. You can't trick me.
What the hell? You have yourself a nice sleep. Great enemy, hardly. He was not that great, let's be real here. <clears throat> Interesting, I can no longer summon after the monster is defeated. I never really... A hundred and something hours into this. How many hours are we into this? A hundred and ten. hundred and ten hours into this game, and I've just now noticed that that is a thing. Wonder if the dude that's down there, if he respawns or not. Let's go ahead and find out while we're here, right? Let's find out if that Colossus respawns. It's just a curiosity that I have. Excuse me, Mr. Colossus. Do you respawn? Oh, wait. There's a, an item here. That means that he does respawn. Excuse me. Wait, is this guy... A Well, we didn't really plan for this, now did we, Ruri? No, we didn't. We planned for one. They gave us the two. They gave us the two for one special. Not our finest moment. Okay, boys. Oh, did I forget to level up? I did. I forgot to level up. This was not a smart... Oh, really? Really? Is there something bigger behind me? Come on. Atta boy, come and get it. Did you hit it? Yeah, you did. Good job. Careful, you put someone's eye out with that. Not mine, though. Definitely not mine. Get the hell out of here! Oh, come on. Let me hit him again. Bonk. One more. Well, this is not good. Ah! Oof! Alright. Ah! dead. Smithing stone seven. Nice. We need that. Why would there be a ramp here, though? 
Why? Is it for you to lure him in and then to take, not really take cover, but kind of like take the high ground so that he won't hurt you? Hey, yeah! Oops, missed. Got him. Listen, don't move. Oh, come on. Dude, we got cheesed. We got cheese balled hard. Of course, there's the punishment. Oh, oh, oh not this time, my friend. We about to get cheese balled again. Yes, we are. Come on, man. Ah, it hurts, it burns, it burns, it burns. Ah. Bastard. Did not want it to go. He didn't want it to go the way of the dodo. We had to caress him into it. That's another golden seed. Yeah, like I said, I don't believe that we'll be able to go up from here. This is just to come and get um, the golden seed. So I'll actually just teleport here. It'll be faster. And I think that we'll just run and get the map now. Wait, 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 wait. Before we do all that, maybe we should level up. Considering that, you know, we have 135,000 motherfucking runes. I don't know. I'm just, just throwing it out there, my, my dude, my guy. Level 120. I've never been this high level before finishing a from software game. Usually we finish those at around 80, 90. A hundred if you're really pushing it? But that's me. Like, if you're pushing it as in if you are actively farming beyond what you need in order to finish the game. Oh, there's a cave here. Let's see what this is about. Two keys. One. And two. Spirit Collar Cave. Something tells me that this one's going to be challenging. Good. We could use a little bit of a distraction. Come on, my guy. What we got? What we got? Cave moss. Dude. I was about to say, it is dark. It is dark as- oh no, not you. Okay, so these things are called spirit callers. There's gonna be a whole bunch of them in here, huh? Good to know. Let's take it nice and easy then. Where's the spirit, spirit caller in here? There's a bunch of them. There's one right here. Got 
to find the other one. Oh, here he is. Don't run! Alright. Looks like we got all of those. We're going to have to be very methodical about this dungeon. Otherwise, it might get frustrating. Ooh, white reed armor. Reed being the land of the samurai. Are there more places to go to from here? It's going to be pretty linear, huh? Alrighty. Yeah, this is where we came from. Oh, we're at the boss already? No steak? Really? No steak. I'm gonna have to make this run back. Ugh. I might summon for this. Screw that. Wait a second. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Where are you at? Where are you at? Wait, no, it's actually, it actually is a Godskin Apostle.
die! Godskin Swaddling Cloth. Black Flame Ritual. Successive attacks restore HP. Damn. That's pretty beast. And the uh, Black Flame... Oops, looking in the wrong spot. Black Flame Ritual summons, summons circles of Black Flame Pillars around Caster. Superior Black Flame Incantation of the Godskin Apostle summons a circle of Black Flame Pillars around the castle. Charging around the caster, charging increases the size of the circle. Glomide Queen led the Apostles. It is said that she was an Empyrean chosen by the Fingers. All right. Pop, we actually upgraded our second hammer because we now have uh, the upgrade three. If you guys remember, we got that early when we got um, here to the mountaintops. And so we just upgraded that and uh, yeah, went full ham on damage for this particular fight. We went Super Saiyan mode yet again, which will still happen from time to time. Now then, where where's me shield? Here, let's swap back into this nice little gear. And I guess that now we're gonna go find the the map that should be reasonably close by. Uh, once I start climbing up, that is. So once we get here, we're gonna be starting to climb up. Could there be more bosses in this place? No. That wouldn't make a whole lot of sense. Also, we lost like 48,000 souls back there. Which I wish I would have used to upgrade the weapon. But, uh, yeah. It is what it is. We got ourselves a little, um... Little graveyard situation here. It's not really graveyard, it's more like sarcophagus. I don't want to be killing these dogs. Little doggy. Oh, we can actually climb up here through this spirit spring. There's a jail here. I should put a skeleton marker on it. Lord Contenders Ever Jail. Because uh, I'll be wanting to come back there later. Did I not rest at a bonfire? I didn't. Idiot. Big nasty doggos. Where's my map? God damn it. It's that one. Okay, in that case, we'll rest at this, um... At this side of Lost Race right here. Ooh, Melina wants to chat. We're almost there. 
The flame of ruin lies just ahead. I'm glad it was you I traveled with. I must tender my thanks to Torrent, too. Thank you, Torrent. Please continue to lend your aid. Till the end. I'm not gonna let you burn. I am not going to let you burn. But we are gonna go get that map real quick. Ooh, another prelates, dude. Yep, I see the map right there. All I have to do is traverse this chain. What could possibly go wrong? Are those the giants? They definitely look like it. So we're going to be going back, but now we have the map. Boom, baby! That right there is the flames. That is ultimately our, at least currently, our final destination. But I mean, there's a whole nother map over here. I gotta figure out how to get there, because like, it doesn't look like you get there from this map. Like, this map just goes towards the flames. But I don't want to go there. I want to go here. I want to figure out how to get here. There has to be a way to get here. I wonder if that is where you go after you trigger whatever ha is supposed to happen in the flames. The thing is, I don't know if I go up to the flames if Melina is just going to throw herself at the flames. Or if there's going to be a dialogue that will give me options. But anyway... I don't know how long this episode is going to be because we had quite a few wipes in those uh, Godskin Apostles. Uh, and also I was interrupted a couple of times um, through phone calls, so I apologize for that. Again, I'm not exactly sure what the size of this one's going to be, but it is going to be it uh, for now. Thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay strong, stay safe. Hit the like button, subscribe, bell notification icon, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.